Now, Ailea, I'm going to show you something else really special about multiplying. Ooh. Yes, I'm going to show you a square. A square, yeah. What's a square? It's any number that you multiply by itself is actually a square. This is the letter X. Right here, it means times. So anything you multiply, you're going to go 1 times 1 or 2 times 2, right? Ailea, can you show me 2 times 2? Okay. I think it's going to be from here to here. That's right. Show me where they meet. 2 times 2. They meet at 4. Yeah. So, 2 over and 2 down. 2 times 2 equals what? 4. So, what what does that make? So put your hand over this part here. And I'm going to put my hand here. What shape is that, guys? When, what we have left with 2 times 2 equals 4. What shape is that? A square. It's a square. It is a square. Yes. So if that makes a square, when you multiply a number by itself, you get a square. So if I ask you to square the number 2, what do you get, Ilya? Four. Because what it's telling you to do when you square is to multiply the number by itself. Right, Jamie? Right. Yeah. So now I'm going to show you a magical process called a square root, which is the opposite. If I give you the number four and I ask you which number did you have to multiply by itself to get four, can you find it on the table here? Um, which number did you multiply by itself? This one. Two, right? Two. So the square root of four is two. And if you square two, you get what? Four. That's right. Okay, Jamie, can you find me five times five, which is also the same thing as five squared? Yeah. What is it? Yeah. 25? Punch in the number 25. So we have five times five equals 25. What is the square root of 25, Jamie? And Ailea, if I square 5, what do I get? That's right. What are you going to multiply? 121. Oh, boy. What is 121? It is 11 times 11. Ooh.